This is the April 11th, 2017 meeting of the Del Historical Commission. I'm the Vice Chair, Butch Meyer, and I call this meeting to order. First on the agenda, minutes of the February and March meetings. Any discussion on this? Um. You've got a, everybody's got a copy. Uh, I think we have enough people here to uh, do it all. Okay. Do, do you it. want them separate? Yeah, separate. I will do them separate. Okay. Uh, I make a motion to accept the minutes of February 14th. A second motion. Accept the minutes of February 14th. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, moving on to the we have another seven March. Yeah. yeah, March okay. minutes. March 21. Do we have any discussion on this? It's not here for this. Okay. I wasn't here, so I can't make a motion. Okay. make a motion to accept the minutes that was here. Oh, come on, somebody break down and make a motion, <laughs> folks. Oh, Mike, can I do that even though I wasn't here for it? If you read the minutes and you feel okay, you're Okay, that's fine. On it. Yep. Okay, I make a motion to accept the minutes of um, March 21st. Do I hear a second? All second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. We have the financial update. Anything new, Chris? Nothing. Nothing new. So the month of April is in front of you. Any questions? I make a motion. Uh, we accept the financial report as distributed. I'll second that. Okay. Bring it to a vote. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Historic district progress. Anything new, Mark? I spoke to Ed last month, and Tim Hotway, the guy that blew into town like a whirlwind to do uh, an update on the National Register application and worked on it for about three months. It was like a ball of fire. We find out, come to find out, he still hasn't submitted it to uh, Mass Historical in Boston because of uh, domestic travail. He's moved two times to that. And I gave us a big sign and dance why it hasn't been and forwarded to Mass Historical yet. A great big disappointment that, that six months after. We saw the last of him. He's still sitting on it, but we, we hope to light a fire on her pretty soon. Okay. Another, another delay. We should be used to it by now. That's uh, it's a historic update. That's all we have. Okay. Do I hear a motion to accept? No, we don't, we don't need it. Not, it's all right. Just, uh, just to turn the sticker brief. <laughs> <laughs> okay, next is scenic roads for warrant update. We pretty much covered that at the last meeting. I yeah, well, the only thing I have to say is we submitted those roads that are listed in the watch meeting. Well, Ferryville, Tracy, Healy, Center Road, from the Cod House, at Ramps 1 to 197, and Scenic Roads, that was put on the warrant. It was given to the select and it's going to be on the warrant for the town meeting. That's where we have on that roads submitted to Once select. Once the road is uh, marked scenic, are there um, limitations to what can be built on that road later on? Or no, it does it, it's... It's an honorarium, that's all it I is. See. It has absolutely no uh, covenants I see. attached. Else? It's like uh, it's like a National Register thing. National Register is really great, but 
it doesn't hold any water. It's like a colander or everything. Every, every regulation will leak right out of it. You know? uh, I see. Any other questions? No, but I have to say, every time I've gone to a town that I'm not that familiar with and I see the sign that says Scenic Road, I'm really curious about going on it and seeing what is <coughs> so, you know, scenic about it. And sometimes I have a nice surprise. And I'm sure people will find that true in Dudley, too, when this goes through. <laughs> <laughs> is it a long process to get a road named Scenic? Well, all it has to do, I guess, is going into um, voting, right? By the time. I think it just has to be approved by the oh. town meeting, mm -hmm. as far as I know. And then who, who puts the signs up, the signage for it? That'll be up to the town, I believe. Okay. It's, it's the only encumbrance yeah. on the town. It's just to spring for a couple of signs for each road. As far as I understand, it's a matter of town pride. I think it'd be a great, I, yeah, it'd be great to see those signs up in, in the appropriate places. Mm -hmm. I like what Sutton did. They have it so it's uh, the white signs with green lettering, so it stands out mm -hmm. in contrast to the regular street signs, and it yeah. looks really good. Mm -hmm. See the difference right away. In Connecticut, they have the white on the blue, don't they? Uh, Dark yeah. blue. They might. Yeah, I've seen that up on the well, Morse uh, farm stand. It's that roads of scenic. So just catches your eye when you're driving. Mm -hmm. so draws you to go down it. We definitely don't want blinking, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Anything further? Or right. okay. well, we move on to trees. Anything we move on to tree front? Chuck is Chuck is the green man. He's not here. Probably nothing to report on trees. Unless somebody has something. Don't, don't anybody say that, Paul. <laughs> <laughs> Not quite yet. We've got nothing to report on trees. Okay. Which? Next is signage for the town pond. Any updates on that? Uh, in the absence of Ed, uh, I don't have anything. I don't know okay. Anything. Future events for the town. I have an announcement. Um, it has to do with the Dudley Conservation Land Trust. They're holding their annual plant sale. This will be our ninth year. And it's on May, the weekend of May 20th and 21st, Saturday and Sunday, from 9 to 3 p.m. both days. And it's held at Marty's Spacious Parking Lot at 119 West Main Street. And uh, there'll be an assembly of plants from annuals, uh, vegetables, trees, shrubs, herbs, perennials, house plants, um, and we have a special corner, uh, a special um, uh, area, I should say, called Collector's Corner, where we have some really unique perennials that are different than what we usually have, usually carry. Um, we also have raffles, and um, there'll be a pair of beach slash lawn chairs that are folded um, at our raffle. Uh, and we'll also have some planters that will already be arranged uh, on our raffle too. So we hope the community will come out and support us like they always do, and we hope for good weather. That's May 10th? May 20th and 21st. The weekend before Memorial Day weekend. Okay. Thank you. Anybody else got any events coming up? Anything going on at the tavern? Or? Uh, there's something at the Grange Hall, isn't there? Some type of yes. <laughs> it's uh, an auction. That's uh, not a yard sale. A yard sale rather at the, at the Black Tavern. Oh yeah, okay. that's the first um, Saturday in May. Oh. I think it starts at eight o'clock. I'm not sure what the end time is, but um, if you have any um, items that you would like to donate to the Black Tavern. Um, you can call the Black Tavern. I don't have their number, um, but I'm sure if you look on the phone book or actually on the website, it'll be there. I ask for Bob, and um, he'll uh, open the, the barn so that you can deliver your items to them. If, they're, if you have anything um, of a large size that needs to be picked up, I believe they'll make arrangements to do that as well. 
So um, I guess the number would be on the website. Give it a call, give them a call, and they'll help you out. And you'll help them out too. Um, there's another event. This is a very busy time. I'm trying to remember the date. Okay. It's the 22nd of May. Oh, April. Sorry, it's coming up. May, uh, April 22nd at the Grange from 10 o'clock to 12 o'clock. In celebration of Earth Day, it is Dudley Dirt Day. And it is a partnership between the Dudley Grange and the Dudley Conservation Land Trust. And we have a guest speaker, Dr. Hebert, and I don't remember his specialty, but he'll be coming and speaking about uh, your landscape uh, around your home, in, in general landscape, how to take care of your grass, um, how to handle your gardens. Um, and then there's also going to be soil testing. Um, you can bring a sample of your soil. And I would suggest that if you are going to do that, you got to dig about six inches down and grab the soil, put it in a plastic baggie with a Ziploc, and there'll be testing equipment there. Uh, people that will test it and give you a general idea what's in your soil and what you might need to add to your soil to make it more um, healthy. So it's from 10 to 12 at the Dudley Grange on April 22nd. That's a Saturday. Uh, it's a, it's going to be a great event. Come on down. <laughs> bring your soil. Bring your soil. I'm going to bring mine. I know that. Good, good. You said his doctor was a worm? <laughs> uh, uh, what did you say? His doctor. Dr. Hebert. He's a worm? He's a worm? A worm? I'm not a worm. What are you talking about? <laughs> Is he saying a worm? Call worm? He's saying a worm. A worm. He's from the University of Massachusetts oh. in Amherst, Mike. I don't think so. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Anyway. Yeah, I'm trying to think. <laughs> I think that's it. There may be other things that I can't think of. <laughs> we don't have anything on the Andersonville Monument. We're still waiting for uh, Mouser Grant uh, okay. distribution. Uh, find out how we made out on that. Second. Preservation projects. Other business not known at the time agenda was posted. Okay, moving on. Member concerns. Anybody concerned about anything? <laughs> <laughs> when is Earth Day celebrated in Dublin? Well, uh, different organizations do it different times. Oh. I noticed there's been cleaning up on 197 and their bags, so someone hopefully will be picking those up. Mm -hmm. So someone has done something, and I don't know what organization did that. The Boy Scouts usually set a place and they do it. And it's around Earth Day. Earth Day officially is the 21st of April, I believe, this year. But it, So a lot of stuff's not necessarily done because that's a Friday. Mm -hmm. So people do it on the weekends, and it can be before or after that date. Concern? I'm not concerned at all. Okay. Well, we have no guests, so there's <laughs> no way we can get any guest comments. So I guess that's it. Make a motion to adjourn. Visha, Visha, at 647. Would someone like to second that motion? I'll second that motion. All right. Good night, Dudley.